Hello, everyone, and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and I wanted to share with you my Friday Reads video for December 25th. So, Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If not, Happy Friday. Um, happy whatever holiday you celebrate. I dropped my girls at my parents yesterday. We did Christmas Eve. Uh, we opened presents, and then Santa brings stockings. And then I came home and left them there. So I'm going to be spending the next couple of days at home alone, trying to get cleaning and stuff caught up, plus lesson planning and reading, all while watching whatever the crap I want on my TV. I'm very excited. Uh, but I wanted to come here today, show you guys the six books that I'm hoping to read in the next week. Uh, probably not going to happen, but... I will prioritize the ones I really want to read and the other ones maybe stick in there somewhere and also show you some really cool things my mom got me. So Santa brought me this cool llama holiday writing pad in my stocking and also some candy cane lip gloss because I like to keep uh, several chapsticks around the school so we've got some in my drawer just a couple unopened that way if a kid comes in chapped lips we can give them a new tube and be fine plus I live in Texas and it's winter so uh, we're going from like tomorrow's supposed to be 80 degrees Monday's supposed to be 46 degrees um yeah your skin gets a little whoa out whoa out wore out worn out I'm an English teacher guys this is sad uh, but anyway, Santa brought me those and then my parents, uh, got the boyfriend and I matching coffee cups with little spoons in the handles, which are super cute and have already been used. So I can't show them to you. Uh, but they also got me this tote bag that says reading is wise on one side and the other has a monkey that says I'm bananas for reading. Um, I read a lot of middle grade books as you would have noticed at this point, if you've been here for a while, um, and then I take those books to my classroom and put them in my classroom library. So that tote, they were like, that is something for you to carry your stuff to school in, carry books over to the school for your classroom library and all that jazz. I was super excited. And then they also got me my favorite thing ever, a notebook. Um, this one though, I was really confused and I actually asked if they had given me the wrong notebook and meant to give this one to my daughter who is an artist because I'm not an artist and this is blank paper. And mom said, well, you know that kind of journaling where you just like scratch down notes real quick and like doodle things in the corners and stuff? And I was like, Do you, are you talking about bullet journaling? She goes, yeah, but not like the one where they take hours and hours and draw the pictures because even if you take hours and hours, it's not going to turn out like you want. And I was like, thanks, mom. You're right, but thanks. She's like, I mean, just like jotting down ideas and notes. So apparently mom wants me to make this some sort of stream of consciousness bullet journal, which I am all about trying out, but I'm not really sure what kind of journaling she's talking about. So if you guys know what she means, like you're supposed to come up with some sort of shorthand and put it in the front of the book, shorthanded, color coded. Um, it almost sounds like the form of annotation and note taking that I teach the kids to do at the beginning of the year, which is Cornell notes, but in bullet journaling form, I don't know if you guys know anything about that. Let me know. But she gave me that awesome notebook and then these four super cool uh, pens. I love, um, I love gel pens. I love colored ink pens. I'm addicted to them. Uh, that's honestly part of the reason why my channel name is Soul Stained Ink. So yeah, uh, everything I write has its own color, which may be part of her whole color coding thing. I don't know. But anyway, I got those and the coffee mugs and I got a shirt not the one I'm wearing I should have put it on uh, but it's really pretty it's black and it has like flowers down the sleeves and the girls got all sorts of super cool things and I got notebooks but I have six books to talk to you about I've already rambled on for like five minutes now so let's get in very quickly to what I'm going to be trying to read over the next week 
So the first one is called Class by Cecily Vaughn Zygasar, I guess. Um, this is the woman who wrote the Gossip Girl series. And I am not going to lie to you. I have never read or watched anything Gossip Girl. However, this was at the Dollar Tree and I read just the first couple of sentences of the synopsis and was like, sounds cool. I might want to try it. Uh, five freshmen arrive at Dexter College, a small liberal art school in the quiet town of Home, Maine. And then the drama unfolds as quickly as the first keg is tapped. And then it tells you all about them. And it says, as they find out, the first year of college is more than credits and cramming. It's a time of lust, love, secrecy, and scandal. So um, I don't know if it's going to be any good or anything. I really want to read more of her writing or anything, but it's not super long and the typeface is not too small. So I'm going to give it a go. Then in, I think, an Alcrate Junior box... We got a copy of Diana Wynne-Jones, Howl's Moving Castle. Um, I'm sure that you know how much people talk about this all over BookTube. I don't know where to go to get rid of the glare, guys. I am so sorry. Um, but this book, A, the cover is gorgeous. I love this cover. And B, people talk about it all the time. So I've always wanted to watch it. To Well, watch it too, but read it. And um, I just never have. And they sent us a copy and I was like, oh, I've never been able to find a copy. So now I'm going to read it. And then in another one of my book boxes, I got The Lady Upstairs by Hallie Sutton. And uh, I feel like this has been talked about at least a little bit on BookTube. Um, basically, this, this woman's job is to blackmail... Um, bad guys and she's got to do like a final a final job I I don't know but it sounded interesting and I'm gonna try it um, then I also got Sky Song by Abby Elfinstone I think this was an Alcrate Junior box maybe I'm not 100% sure uh, it says once an adventure digs its claws in there's not an awful lot you can do about it especially when magic is involved so I'm very interested in digging into that. Like I said, love me a good um, middle grade. And speaking of that, another one I believe I got in an Alcrate Junior box. Francesca Gibbons, illustrated by Chris Riddell. This is A Clock of Stars, The Shadow Moth, which I guess is the first in a series. And I legitimately do not know anything about it other than the fact that that it says Imogen looked at the sign. It said no trespassing. She didn't know what trespassing was, but it sounded like fun. And I definitely want to see what she's trespassing on. I also did not grab my copy of Northanger Abbey. Um, several months ago, my dear, sweet heart sister, Fiona, uh, sent me a copy of Northanger Abbey because... Jane Austen is one of my favorite authors, but I've never read Northanger Abbey. Uh, none of the libraries around had it. I couldn't find it um, when I wanted to read it. So she sent me a copy. And then grad school got hectic and regular school got hectic. You know, everything went crazy and I haven't been able to read it. So I'm going to prioritize reading Northanger Abbey uh, before the end of 2020. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these books. Uh, let me know what you're reading. Let me know how many times I said, uh, in this video. It's been a minute. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have had a fabulous week and a wonderful weekend. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.